This is a chaotic season of life for my family. I Where was I going with this? one o'clock in the afternoon. I just got that taco chili inside of the crock pot. I say crock pot, really it's my instant pot, but I use it as a crock pot. This is a chaotic season of life for my family. I woke up this morning at 4.45, logged on to work at five, worked until 10.30, worked out for an hour, got in the shower, did like a five minute makeup look, threw on some clothes, and started working on getting that chili into the crock pot. It took about 10 minutes to brown the meat, chop the onion, brown the onion, add the seasoning. I only set it for three hours because that's how much time I have. I have to, the kids get home around 3.15. One child has a Zoom call at 3.30 for 30 minutes. We no longer have our little school set up when the kids went back to school and we're no longer exclusively doing Zoom school from home. I took that down. My house is too small to have something like that set up if it's not an absolute necessity, which means that my son is doing his Zoom calls in the kitchen so I can't be cooking during that time. Dinner will be ready at four o'clock and that is when we eat which for a lot of people, I know that's not realistic, that might sound absolutely crazy, but we are currently eating dinner around four because the kids have to leave the house at 4.30 to go to soccer and are at soccer until about 7.15, come home, and then they pretty much just have to get ready immediately for bed. My kids normally go to bed between seven and 7.30, which means the only opportunity we have currently is to eat dinner at four o'clock. And the crock pot meals have definitely been coming in handy when I have to have something on, on the table by four, but I can't utilize my kitchen between 3.30 and four. And this is just how it goes. As a working parent, you have to just find shortcuts to make it all happen. I have a sink full of dishes. I haven't made my bed. I haven't tidied up the bathroom. I haven't started a load of laundry. 
and that is perfectly fine. I now have the next two and a half hours to get all of this done before the kids get home. I don't have to think about dinner. going in the slow cooker. It's set for six hours. I don't know if you noticed, but when I was pouring out the Worcestershire sauce, I only had half of a tablespoon. The recipe calls for two tablespoons. Fortunately, today is grocery shopping day, so I'll just go ahead and pick up one at the store and then add in the other one and a half tablespoons when I get back. I can't imagine why that would be a problem. My husband's favorite protein is pork, so I think he's really going to like this. And we don't have any Zoom or soccer practice tonight. I'm gonna have a little bit of extra time and I will just make up a couple of sides. I went through the pantry and the refrigerator and I had some asparagus and rice peel off, which I think will go really well with that. So we'll go ahead and get that cooked up right before we eat. And it should be a really delicious dinner. I love anything with pork and onion. 
I think that this is definitely going to be a winner. I will say that this is not my recipe. My husband's grandmother gave this recipe to me. She found it on Pinterest and I will have the original source linked in the description box so that you can reference their website for any of the details. I just wanna make sure and give the actual creator of this recipe credit. That mixture is going to cook for two and a half hours. Again, if you are leaving the house for work, you could easily put this on low for eight hours. It doesn't really matter because everything's cooked. You're just incorporating those flavors and heating it together. A couple of things I wanted to talk about about my particular recipe. I'm using homemade bone broth. I have shared on my channel before, but I always save any chicken, turkey, carcass that I have with vegetable scraps. So like the peel from the onion, I keep a bag in my freezer. I will just pull that out, open the bag, dump in the peel, and save it for when I'm going to make, we call it garbage can soup, but really it's just vegetable scraps and any sort of meat carcass to create a bone broth. With the herbs that I put into the blender with the chicken broth, you absolutely don't have to do that step. The only reason I do that is because my kids don't like wilted greens in anything, particularly in soup. I know that my kids will complain if there were wilted basil leaves inside of the soup, I just hide it by, it's kind of like the refried beans. If they don't see that it's in there and they don't really know that it's in there, then they'll eat it no problem. But if I were to just leave those whole, then my kids would complain and say that they didn't like the green stuff in the soup. So to get around that, I take that extra step put the broth in and blend up all the herbs so that they can't detect them, but the flavor's there. Finally, the tomatoes, those came, I canned those. So I had a garden, I showed you my herbs that I have grown. That's the only thing left in the garden right now at this point in the season is just fresh herbs and they are kind of on their last leg. The basil still looks pretty good, but everything else is kind of dying off and uh, not in great shape. So I'm trying to utilize those before the end of the season and where was I going with this? 
the tomatoes. The tomatoes were San Marzano tomatoes. Now I know that technically they have to come from like the San Marzano region in order to technically be San Marzano tomatoes, but they were shaped like San Marzano tomatoes. I don't know. Let me know what the deal is with those in the description box below if you know what makes San Marzano tomatoes San Marzano tomatoes. I think that it's just the like, they're like Romas, but they're longer and they're pointier. And I think that they have better flavor. Plus, when you get San Marzano tomatoes canned inside of the grocery store, they are so expensive. So I decided this year to just grow them myself. You could absolutely substitute that out for a 14 and a half ounce can of whole San Marzano tomatoes, or you can use any canned tomatoes. It doesn't have to be that specific type of tomato. And I think that it's not gonna make a difference. It's all gonna taste good. Once the two and a half hour timer goes off, my son is gonna be in the middle of a Zoom call, so I'm not gonna be able to film that, but I'm going to add 10 ounces of tortellini. You could do ravioli. I'm using just plain cheese tortellini. It's in the refrigerated section of Trader Joe's, the particular kind I'm using, but you can get it at any grocery store. You can use frozen, refrigerated, it doesn't really matter. You can even get it dried and you could put that into soup with one cup of heavy cream and half of a cup of freshly grated Parmesan. I'm going to then set the slow cooker for another 30 minutes, let all of that cook up, cook the tortellini, and it will be ready to serve. <laughs> 